What's up? My name is Eric Butler. This channel is called Report and Opine. I am back and from the Atlantic, the strongest evidence yet that an animal started the pandemic. A new analysis of genetic samples from China appears to link the pandemic's origin to raccoon dogs. So these people are still going with it. They've switched now from a bat to a raccoon dog, but this is obviously a direct response to some stories that we've seen in recent weeks that basically everybody agrees it was a lab leak. Now, of course, that was a crazy conspiracy theory a year ago. Now everybody sort of agrees, and it doesn't matter. It did what it was supposed to do, right? Scare people, control them, fear, of course, get rid of Donald Trump and usher in this entire new way of living, right? That's what it was supposed to do. So it doesn't matter whether it came from a bat. It doesn't matter whether it came from a lab, right? Because its mission has been accomplished. And back in 2020, I thought it was about just getting rid of Donald Trump, which was part of it, but it was much bigger than that. And these people, for whatever reason, are going to continue to push this narrative that it came from an animal and go to bat for China for some strange reason. For three years now, the debate over the origins of the coronavirus pandemic has ping-ponged between two big ideas that SARS-CoV-2 spilled into human populations directly from a wild animal source and that the pathogen leaked from a lab. And it's also funny, they're they're trying to make it sound real scientific, SARS-CoV-2, because at the beginning, everybody was calling it coronavirus until people realized that that word was on the back of a Lysol can and they had to make it sound more scary needs to be much more scarier. So then we had to call it COVID. And now since the, the Atlantic wants to sound like they're, they're real scientists, so we should trust them and listen to them. So they're going to use the official name SARS-CoV-2. It's all absolute nonsense. It's propaganda of the highest order. Through a swirl of data obfuscation by Chinese authorities and politicization within the United States and rampant speculation from all corners of the world, many scientists have stood by the notion that this outbreak like most others, had purely natural roots. But that hypothesis has been missing a key piece of proof. Genetic evidence from the Hunan seafood wholesale market in Wuhan, China, showing that the virus had infected creatures for sale there. Yeah, okay. This is all nonsense. They're just, they, they have to, for, for some reason, they just have to contradict what we all, as, every, as the truth comes out slowly but surely, some people acknowledge it, some people ignore it, but the truth continues to come out, and they're still going to say, no, it was a bat. Why, why, why are you so defend, like, why are you so bent on making sure that everybody knows it didn't leak from a lab in China to protect Dr. Fauci, who may or may not have funded the entire thing, allegedly? I don't know. There's a laundry list of awful things that Dr. Fauci did, including the week when he said we should be wearing goggles. In the early days, we said, oh, it doesn't give you the perfect protection. And he said, well, of course, you should just be wearing two. And if you have goggles, do that also. None of this ever made sense. In the Atlantic is hanging on to the narrative They can't let it go. They can't let go of the control. They can't even fathom the idea that some people might not be buying into their propaganda, so they just keep pushing it. And unfortunately, there's people that are still buying it because if there weren't, then they would go the way of the dodo bird, I guess. And a lot of these media outlets are, you know, tech sector is obviously suffering. People are getting laid off. There's story every week, another thousand people get laid off from some weirdo tech firm, which doesn't really have anything to do with this, so I digress. This week, an international team of virologists, genomicists, I don't know, and evolutionary biologists may have finally found crucial data to help fill that knowledge gap. A new analysis of genetic sequences collected from the market shows that raccoon dogs being illegally sold at the venue could have been carrying and possibly shedding the virus at the end of 2019. And again, it doesn't matter whether it came from a bat or a dog or a lab because its purpose was served. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, but it was something we already had that they repackaged. They put a marketing team on it to scare the daylights out of you and gain complete control, all while getting rid of Donald Trump and a bunch of other people that they didn't like. And then it turned, you know, it, it, was, a divide, it was a pure divide and conquer strategy. Families were torn apart. You had people like Andrew Cuomo saying, you know, if you don't wear a mask, then that is, you know, that, it's about respect. If you don't wear a mask, then you don't respect people. It was all absolute nonsense. And we see it now. New York City spent $225 million on Rona equipment that they never used that they later sold for half a million dollars. So they took a huge loss on that, right? They told people they couldn't go into a store without a mask. Now they're saying you can't go into a store with a mask because people are getting robbed left and right. All this to gain control. When they say jump, you're supposed to say how high. And the Atlantic is just, you know, they're paid propagandists. And that's not new. We all knew that. Well, no, not all of us. Most of us know this. But... 
they, I mean, if there's somebody who's still going to buy it, they, they have to continue to sell it. And that's why they continue to do this in 5,000 words. Uh, like why, why is it taking so long to say this? Right. Oh, it, it came from a raccoon. Yeah. Right, bro. They're just holding on to the fear tactics. It's funny too, because when we were in the month or so where monkeypox was there, they didn't really want you to be afraid of that because it was infecting a certain section of the population. And you couldn't be afraid of that. That was stigmatizing. But you shouldn't even leave the house because of Rona. You should be scared of that. I mean, it's all absolutely backwards. But naturally, that is par for the course in the backwards, bizarre world. And look how long this goes on. They want you to know for sure that they are the scientists. It's super scientific. We know. And all the stories that you heard from mainstream news outlets across the country about the lab leak theory basically being true. You, you, sh you can't believe them. Believe us. It's, it's all absolute nonsense. This woman, Catherine J. Wu, and I'm sure she's getting a pretty penny to write this jargon, this nonsense. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe.